This is going to be a review of Juice Defender for Android. Okay, I'm going to try to explain how to use this as best as I can. If you have any questions, uh, please comment below. Okay, the version I have is the one that says installed right next to. They now have a beta version, which I'm not sure what the difference is. The It just might have more bugs and it might crash. But, download that one. Open it. When you first open it, you will have these configuration options, which is what I'm going to try to explain. When you first open it, you go to setup. And it will ask this. And it will automatically run a test and configure some settings for you. I'm not going to run that again. But right here on data, what it does, you first have to make sure you click enable or it won't even work. But on data, what it does is it enables the data turn off features and data conserving features. Which will make sense later. On the free version, you don't get Wi-Fi support, um, CPU support. That's only if you have a um, um, rooted phone. Okay, for the schedule, it um, lets you do. Um, I have it set for uh, that when your screen turns off, it will turn off your 3G. So no applications will use your 3G in the background. So that. It's usually what can cause your battery to die really quick. And I have mindset. If you have like email and stuff you want still checked. I have it checked one minute for to open up the data to check for one minute every 15 minutes. You can also do on the free version you can do just to keep it on. Leave data enabled. Or you can have two mi leave it open for two minutes every 30 minutes. Or you can have three minutes for every 15 minutes. Or five minutes for every 30 minutes. And night savers, uh, it will turn off the data at night for the pro version. And batteries, also that, but for ultimate only. Traffic, what it will do is you can, if you write streaming. Say Pandora or something that's not using. I have a set for greater than 50 kilobytes. I'm not sure. I don't think you can. You can't change it unless you get ultimate because it flickers down there when you try and change it. But if you're like try downloading something and your screen turns off, but you don't want the download to stop, it should um, stop. Uh, it should keep the download going for at least 15 seconds. The peak is for ultimate only, but you can set uh, your data hours and your peak hours, like your most usage, so it won't shut off. And apps, what I have, the free version lets you do one app. I have it set as the market right now, which what it does, um, it you can select apps that you don't want being blocked when the screen turns off. Say you have Pandora and you don't want it being stopped from streaming. You can have that app enabled so it won't turn off the 3G, 3G, 3G for that app. And the screen right there, what it does is, as long as the screen's on, the data will stay on. And if you turn the screen off, the 3G will turn off. But you can also have it, have it to customize it to where it if you wanted to just like go to the I'm gonna show you real quick 3G turn off takes a little bit to turn off it should be off so you see it's off now 3G's off I have it set to turn back on from the lock screen which see it turned back on but you can also have it if you want to check the time real quick without 3G coming back up you can have it set so it doesn't turn on until after you Oh, go past the lock screen. So now it would turn on if you have only after unlock. And location is the ultimate feature as well. 
I'm pretty sure that uh, when your GPS is enabled, you can, when it detects a location, it can like automatically turn your Wi-Fi on and off. So if it, like detects you're in your house, it can turn your Wi-Fi on. So use its Wi-Fi instead of 3G, say battery, or something like that, which is pretty cool. And it's pretty much all you have to say and see this. Those are the customization options. And you can also have in the notification at top. I don't have it, but you can. You go back. You can have a widget on your front screen right here. Right there. And it would tell you approximately, I guess, say how much battery life you might be saving. So it says I increased my battery life by 1.54 um, times running this app. Which is probably true, I would say. Because... If I have anything in the background trying to use 3G, it will keep it from using data so it won't drain my battery when my screen's off. Which, uh, I think, I would say, I've, I, with all the power features I've done between Juice Defender and other optimizations between, in the settings, I've gotten two days of battery life, uh, pretty frequently with my phone. I use it between classes, and so I would say good, good two to three hours a day of good use. So, if you don't use it much more than that, this, you should expect two days of battery life, at least for the Droid X. And similar phones should obviously get similar battery life, if not better because of a smaller screen. But, uh, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and thumbs up this video.